Hail, intrepid viewers, and welcome back. Today we're playing Backbone Prologue. This is a free-to-play game, which I assume leads into a not free-to-play game. So I'm gonna play the free-to-play version, and then I'll let you slash me combined, with our powers combined, decide whether or not to purchase the game and continue the story. This is the way to do it, though. I like, I like free demos that are also prologues. Okay, we got walk, shift, crouch, E, tab, and escape. I think I can remember a couple of those. This is going to be a point-and-click noir game uh, with aminals. So just like The Wolf Among Us, right? Or, um, Morrytown or whatever it's called? Moripovich Town. Am I a raccoon? Coon man. Sorry, Mr. Call. Yeah, no problem. 27, on the buzzer. Click does nothing. Space doesn't something. Space did something, I think. It was a coincidence. Just enough time to clean up. Space did nothing again. E. Ah, faded black. Okay. I guess I have no control over dialogue speed. I have a new objective. How do I do objective? This is a pretty good animation. This is more animation than I thought. Look at that shadow and the coat kind of flowing around. This is slick. This is some good production values. Insurance frauds, lost cars, estranged lovers should probably get rid of some of these old case files. Eventually. Inspector Desk. Do it. Use mouth to drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing E. I guess E means disappeared. Can't drag you, can't drag you, can't drag you, can't drag you. And did I just set everything? Did I clean everything? Green, 4 p.m., John D., insurance fraud. Hopefully, it is the case that none of these things are draggable, because I can't drag anything. And I'm really afraid because I'm doing it wrong. Let's go check out the living room. The only room that ghosts hate. This damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta hit Frankie up next time I'm in Fustdale, and then I have, and when I have cash, so never. Notes on the fridge. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. Photo chemicals. Leaving developers in this kitchen is a sure road to poisoning, or a great soup. Windows says, hard to get tired of this view. I'm already tired of it. Place dishes. I'll wash these later. Probably not. The toilet. Toilet books. The Great Apes, The Great Story. Swell toilet read. Better leave it here. That's all we got. What am I missing? Everything should be perfectly clean now. I've interacted with all the items, right? What's this? Oh, place chemicals. Everything knows its proper place. Heh. That must be Miss Green. Please be like a iguana lady. Odette. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lotor. We spoke on the phone. Uh, I gather you have a case for me at your service. I gather you have a case for me, Miss Green. Odette will do. I, um, well, I understand this story of thing. This sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. What's the matter? He hasn't been himself lately, getting home at odd hours, and every time I try to talk about it, he gets... But no matter. It's just embarrassing to admit. You, you suspect he's cheating on you. I'm pretty sure he is, but what I have won't be enough in court. I need proof. Did you try talking to him? That caused him to go to ground, I suppose. If he's needed an affair, he can get you what you want. Understood. And a picture of my routine. Um, oh, did you try talking to him? He gets difficult. It's like everything's still somehow my fault, and he's... But I'm sorry, is this relevant? What I need to know is if you can get proof, something that'll hold up in court. Hmm. Okay. If he's having an affair, I'll get you what you want. Of course he's having an affair. No need to be snippy with me, lady. Uh, before I find proof, the less biased I am, the better... No. 
All right then, one last thing. Let's talk case details. I need a picture or information about his routine. Of course, anything you need. What would you like to know? Uh, what's he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. A bit shorter than you and kind of chunky. He wears glasses, the square kind, and his wedding band as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. So it sounds like I gotta be racially profiling some otters. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I can write the address down for you. Is that where I can usually find him? Well, supposedly he goes to work and then comes home, but I know sometimes he goes somewhere else after work, occasionally before. Now it's become more frequent. Hold up. Hold up! I'm a professional. How do you know he goes somewhere else after work? He hasn't been hiding well. Hiding well. His behavior is all abnormal. He gets home late, misses work, lies, and smells funny. What's the funny smell? Like perfume, not mine. Alcohol, smoke, it's a weird perfume, and something else I can't pinpoint, but it's poignant. A kind of herbal stink. That's his musk, lady. Um, I didn't know he was missing work. Apes, I feel so ashamed. He's going to get terminated if he continues like this. I've gotten calls. At first I wondered if he was homesick. I lied for him a couple times, too. Okay. Um, what time does he get home if he's late? Way past work hours, unreasonably so, and drunk. One time I stayed up and asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. You said that before. Hold up. Hold up! Has he been aggressive? I really don't think it's relevant, Mr. Lotor. I'd rather move on. Hmm. Odette, personal details often make or break a case. I can't see how irrelevant information about our marriage would help. The affair is the only relevant matter, and all you need to know about it. If there's even a chance it might give me an edge, wouldn't you take it? What do you want to know? Is he aggressive? Not physically, but he's threatening, verbally abusive, and has big moods. Big moods. Okay, well, I'm so glad I really pressed on for that vital piece of information. Okay, let's talk about Korth, then. You're filing for a divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Oh, you have kids. Uh, has your husband threatened to take the children? Frankly, I, I don't think that's your concern, Mr. Luthor. Oh, I agree. Sorry, one last thing. Let's talk case details. I'll need a picture and some information about your husband's routine. I thought I already got those things. Of course, anything you need. What would you like to know? Oh, just more things, I see. Uh, what's his full name? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez for short. That's not a nickname. Have you met any of his friends? I haven't met them, but he mentions some guys from time to time. Sometimes he hangs out with them after work. Anyway, any way, I'd be able to pick him out of a crowd. Well, I lay his clothes out for him every morning. He has to wear a suit for work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. I wasn't going to go to work today. It's almost sunset. That's all I need. Now the awkward part. Payment. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you're done. Would that be enough? Yes. Plus any unexpected expenses during the investigation. I've got a lot written on this, and I only get one shot. Funds are limited, you know. What assurance can you make that you're the right man for the job? I'm good at what I do. I hope so. It's very important. You don't get caught. Do you understand? Of course. I'll get right on it, Odette. Talk soon. Is there going to be a twist? New objectives. I got location. Log. Objectives. There we go. Did that. Find Jimmy Green. Look at the hoof bank. Let's do that. I, I just did that. I'm not going to do it again. To Granville. Hi-ho. That's right, kids. This loading screen is four cigarettes long. Donovan's. Oh, this game is freaking gorgeous. Granville. Smells like a wet, smells like wet concrete. Overpriced fast food and puke. My kind of battleground. You've got weird tastes, sir. Look at this guy. Is he a kangaroo? Oh, he's a squirrel. That's a badass looking squirrel. What did it say about him? Nothing. Oh, this is what I care about. Hey, what's up, old man? Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man, sorry. What are you, some kind of pervert? No? What are you doing here? Just hanging? What are you doing? You could say I'm hanging too. From my hanging to yours. Peace, bro. Goodbye, then. What a waste of time. I'm not talking to... Furman and Son. What's gonna work? Where are that guy's work? Posters. Let's look at these. The Great Apes, the great story documentary, a story of order, a story of courage, a story of justice. This has been running for a year now. Ah, a movie theater. Hey, Anatoly. Hey, man. Where to? Where to? I thought you were a... 
movie ticket salesman kind of guy. Aunt Ollie, it's me, Howard. How's Estrella and kids? Ah, Mr. Howie, come on, give me a hug. Yes, and I are good, good. We got a kid I had coming up soon. We got a, oh, we got a second lad coming up soon. I can read. Second, wow, you guys are lucky. We are, we are. I mean, normally beavers give litters of six, but you know, two kids is okay. We are, we are. It's it's a big one. Essie's as round as a beach ball, so I tell her. Woman, getting any bigger and I won't fit in the trick of my car. <laughs> that's, that's great. Can you answer a couple questions first? Brood, what do you want? I said that was great. I'm looking for an off an otter named Jez. Works at Wolfbank. Have you seen him recently? I don't know. Tried looking at that bar down the street. Have you seen him here? There? Now, Mr. Howie, what, what, what do you what do you let me work? Here? Just gonna have my clients. Talk to you later. What are you? You're, oh, you're a taxi guy. Of course you are. Vogue. What does this mean? They did a great job restoring the Vogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so bad. The day I bought a bike, Citizen Maine. Johnny's a jo Johnny Johnny and John don't drive. Something something the great story shown every day. Cool cool cool. Cool uh, baby. Poster another poster. Read it to me. Eden Simmons is the rising jazz star. See you here tonight only at Bite Club. Neat. Should I check this out once I'm done with the case? Nope. What's the time? Wolf Bank. Wolf Bank. This is where Green works. Bank employee. Yeah. Good evening. How are you doing, gentlemen? Why do you care? Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this man? Uh, is Jez around? And who are you? Um... Ah, oh, so you know him. Asshole owes me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. <laughs> we'll say hi to Derek here because you two are probably not gonna see your money again. I'll find him. <laughs> hi, Derek. When was the last time you saw him? Today. But the wimp... Ass left early. He's scared Derek's gonna split. This is the same guy? I thought Derek was talking. Today, with the wimp ass left early, he's scared Derek's gonna split his wig. Heh. <laughs> Did something happen at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Where do you think he headed after work? What say you, boys? Home to his nagging bitch of a wife? To the gutter where he belongs? <laughs> Only apes know. They say apes of dot god. Uh, could he be with someone now? Girlfriend? If you reckon Harlots are sort of our sort of girlfriends, then sure. Could be with one of them for all I know. Did you boys spend time with him outside work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at The Bite every Thursday. He's not fun anymore, though. The Bite, could he be there now? If he is, be sure to let him know he's as good as dead. Good luck, Rack. Sure thing. Thank you for your help. What's a Rack? Why do you call me that? Rack? Is this? What? Oh wait, show me the thing. Um, the bite, right? I just forgot the name. I already forgot the name that fast. Jeez Louise. Hmm, might not quite fit into this fancy crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. And this guy a bear? Yeah, it looks like it. No entrance to raccoons. Goodbye. That's so racist. Loons. Harlos. My friend crawls away inside. Go ask him. Yeah, of course. Get lost now or I'll bash your head. Okay. I'm gonna assume there is no alternative. Can I sneak in the back? Hold shift to run. Don't know what to do. I'll walk if I want to. More raccoon people. Larry. Howard? Well, I'll be damned. Is that you? Larry? It's me. It's been so long. What's going on, old man? Ha, huh. who are you calling old, you old rascal? Hey, <laughs> alright, that's that's fair. Plus these racks likely don't help my appearance any. I didn't expect to see you here to be honest. Well, who really expects to see anyone of note in the back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? I'm still a private detective. I'm happy for you. My gig kinda went downhill since then. Since when? What happened? I don't really care. Ran out of the places to crash. Ran out of the places to crash. What are you doing these days? Uh, have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Um, can't tell. Client confidentiality. Must be a shifty guy. What's he like? He's... might be. Here's a photo. Haven't seen him. Sorry. Hope you find him. You always knew what to do with guys like this. Come back anytime. I'll be here often and hear people talk. Thanks. I'll catch you later. Bye. Cool. There's a possum guy? I don't know. Art is... 
Art is our only salvation from the horror of existence. That's not pretentious at all. No answer on the intercom. Yes, yes, no, no. Suzanne Zafati, haha. Don't shame my fleas. Well, I can run pretty fast. It's like a gun pull kind of thing. Look at that turn animation. If I just spam the intercom, someone's gotta answer, right? That's how intercoms work? Nope, they're ignoring me now. I don't have the option to spam it. Okay, well, I explored that. I guess I'll go back out here. Is the line gone? No. Luscious. Can I get a haircut to look not like a raccoon? Fourteen ninety nine for a trim? What madman would pay for something that could would, that they could do at home with a pair of scissors? Press control to enter crouch mode. Do I need to or want to enter crouch mode? Shoot! That's Donnie right there in the in the police booth. He'll my brains out if he sees me. Crouch. Dun dun dun. What's a police booth? I don't know. This world's kind of weird. I'm not gonna talk to you, damn. Can I sprint? It? Nope. He can see me, you know, sight lines. Whatever, that wasn't suspicious at all. I don't really know why I'm walking over here. I'm kinda of out of ideas. Mackenzie and Sons. Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Well, just wear one sock. Foxy Burger, maybe he's in here. I want a, I want a burger, I'm actually really hungry. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora who then proceeded to puke out his not nearly digested tuna burger on my coat. Ah, the memories this place brings. Can I play that game? A garbage bin? What do we got? Let's see. Socks. Takeaway boxes. Six. Aha! A ticket to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. That was random. What is this guy? This bunny rapper guy with a mustache? He's so cool! Yo, Bo! Good day to you, friend! Fancy some fresh news? Uh, sure. Shoot. For a half loon, you can read them all in your own eyeballs! Alright, there you go. What's the headline today? Front page today's Great Ape Parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. So ape is not God. How's business anyway? Well, you tell me. People want their damn news for free and damn hawkers don't help any. Granville's getting full of them and the force don't even care. Why don't the cops care? Hawkers are small fish, not worth the effort unless they're right under the cops' noses. You know there's a police booth just down Granville. I've tried reporting them before, but by the time an officer gets here, the hawkers are smoke. What are, what, are, what are hawkers? You know, peddlers. They haul their ricky, rickety improvised stands around and collect all the profits with nary a permit. Why do they bother you so much? Well, hawkers don't worry about bills or allowance, you see, so they can afford to sell cheap, undercut honest businessmen like myself. Gotcha. I better go then. I'll put my tail that damn rodent with the sea till we arrive in any minute now. Wow, sorry to hear that, man. Gotta go, but I'll see you around. Gotta duck again. Can't risk officer whatever who will bust my head for some unspecified reason. Sneak, sneak, slowly sneak. Ooh, ice cream. I'm really hungry. I'm gonna stop recording right out of this and go eat food, I think. I I wonder sometimes. <laughs> let's, let's, get, let's get stupid meta. In a, not in the sense of cool meta. Of, um... I wonder, like, I don't know if the... Right about I should eat before recording is. Like, is my mouth get too much spit? Do I have low energy though? I have a ticket right here. What is this? Haha, <laughs> you're a funny little fella. So can I get in now? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in a dumpster, so no. But thanks for a good laugh. Uh you're welcome, can I get in? No, don't test my patience. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Oh my hopes were so high, and then they were dashed so excellently. I thought he hung himself for a second, just the way that guy stands is creepy. This has got to be a thing, right? It's nothing. Can't go that way. What am I supposed to do? Can I talk to somebody? Can I be someone's guest? Are those fish? What is that? Why are there f fish silhouettes? Are they like Vashta Narada kind of thing going on here? Yeah, I don't know. Bank employees can't get me in. What haven't I talked to? Talk to you. Talk to the posters. I didn't talk to this place. Furman, one slick silver-tongued devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. Ah, I see, okay. Well, 